Brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. We all come from different places. Some of you this morning woke up with a smile on your face. You heard the noise from the kitchen, from the basement, heard the the cluster of your family, and you just loved having those people there, the laughter, the jokes, the hugs, the love. It's been wonderful. It's just made you happy through and through. Some of you have been checking your watch every five minutes, wondering when the madness will be over and you can finally go home. Some of you have been in a knockdown, drag out fight with your spouse since you woke up this morning, yelling and screaming at each other, red faced, angry words, right up until you got into the church parking lot when you stopped and you plastered smiles on your faces that you still have on right now, hoping nobody's gonna notice. And some of you woke up in solitude, solitude either by choice or through grief. And maybe you got here even a few minutes late and haven't spoken a word to another human being yet today. We all come from different places. Some of you are filled with a faith, a faith in this Easter miracle that is like a bright, shining ball of energy in your chest. And it's so wonderful and big, it just emanates out of you. People can tell. And some of you have this aching doubt. You want to believe. You want to believe like you used to when you were a child, when everything was so easy, when it seemed so simple, but you just can't seem to do it. You can't seem to get your, your fingers around it. Some of you are here only because Grandma wanted you here, and you want to make Grandma happy. And some of you are somewhere in the middle. We all come from different places. And we're all here for different motivations. We all feel differently today, but Regardless of where you come from, regardless of your mood, regardless of how you're feeling right in this second, there is something that is true. And it's true regardless as if you believe it or if I believe it or if anyone does. It's true regardless of how you're feeling from moment to moment, regardless of the conviction of your heart. It's true. It's true in the same way the sun in the sky is true, in the same way the Michigan-Kansas game is true, the same way that your birth is true. It's true because it is a concrete reality, an objective truth. It is something that happened in history. It's true. And even if we all were to turn away, shrug our shoulders and run off to the horizon, even if this church became an empty hall, became a memory, even if this church was turned into a community theater or a a county museum, even still, it would remain true. Its truth does not depend on our belief. It is simply, objectively, concretely true in all of its wonder and amazement. It is true that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. It's true. And because this is true, we don't have to fear death anymore at all. Death has lost its teeth. Because this is true, you are an eternal being, chosen and precious. You, child of God, have been claimed by God into eternity. Because this is true, you can have this sure confidence that death has no power over you. You, you who secretly hate your job, you, you who pretend you like college football but really would rather talk about Dancing with the Stars. You, who have no idea how to use a computer. You, who are so excited about your Easter basket at home, you can hardly sit still. You, who wonder if this is your last Easter on this earth. You, who is broken. You, who is foolish. You, who still 40 years later regret not going in for that kiss. You, who still tear up at coffee commercials. You. All of you have been claimed by God into eternity. And dear friends in Christ, if that is not worth celebrating, then nothing is. For Jesus Christ is risen today.